Hello kids, welcome back. So, today we are going to do a cute drawing of a mouse who just found a pot of gold. Yes, who just found a pot of gold and is taking it home. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll start with the nose of the mouse. I'm gonna zoom in to, uh, to do the face and then zoom out when I come to the rest of the drawing. Okay, so I'm going to start with a tiny curve line that is going to be the top of the nose and then another curve line in the bottom. Now come down a little and do a curve line for the mouth. Now let's make the mouth smile. And then let's give those tiny curve lines for the smile. Now I'm going to go up from the nose and do two oval shapes for the eyes. I'm going to do another curve line in there like this. And then I color in black, leaving that small white highlight. Are you able to see that or should I zoom in a little? Oh, sorry, I just knocked my camera. Okay, now the other one. I'm going to color the whole thing, leaving a small white spot. Okay, now we are done with the features. Let's go ahead and start the face. From the mouth, I'm going to go to the side and do a curve line, which goes around takes a turn over and then comes down like this. Got it? Now I'm going to make the ears. The first one, I'm going to make diagonally above the eye. The second one, which is on the other side of the head, will not be as big as this. It will be a little smaller because it is partially hidden behind the head. Now let's do a curve line inside to show the inside depth of the ear. And then let's go ahead and what shall we start with? The next step is going to be the hand. The hand that is pulling the cart with the gold pot. Okay, so I'm going to come down from the mouth and then uh, maybe a finger scab from the bottom of the mouth and do a curve line like this. Okay, then go. I go up and do one more line which is where the lines are wider on the top and closer to each other on the bottom. Now go ahead and do two curve lines like this and then do the fingers. Now I'm going to do the thumb, a tiny curve line for the thumb. Okay, now let's go ahead and do the body now okay so I'm going to zoom out just a little for you to see the whole picture and then I'm going to extend this line as I bring it down I go back jump over the hand take a turn and come down like this then from this point where we jumped over the hand, I'm going to go forward to a curve line which goes forward like this, kind of a reverse too. And then I come down from here, do another line which goes and touches that. Now I'm going to do the toes, okay? 
and then from the bottom of the mouth on the bottom of the head bottom of the face I'm going to do one more curve line which goes and touches the feet like that that's the front body of the mouse okay now I'm going to do one more feet over here but which is not fully visible just partially like that okay now we are done with one hand and two feet let's go ahead and do the other hand too i want to make show that the um mouse the moment it looked at us it took off its hat in uh, like a sign of greeting us so it it, it has that green hat the saint patrick's hat so let's go ahead and do that first let's do the hand from the point where the body and the face are meeting i'm going to bring down a line and then go up and then i come down a little and repeat the same thing make the elbow but as you go up go close to the first line like that then make a curve line for the thumb come down and touch that you might be wondering, Bindu, Auntie, where are the other fingers? The other fingers are behind the hat. Remember, the mouse just took off its hat to greet us, so other fingers are behind the hat. Now, let's go ahead and do the hat. From this spot where the finger and the wrist are meeting, I'm going to go ahead and do an oval shape, which will form the base of the hat, okay? Now let's go ahead and do one more over shape inside. Now we just form the rim of the hat. Now let's go ahead and do the hat itself. On the top, I'm going to make two curve lines going away from each other like that and then join them, <clears throat> sorry, join them with another curve line. Right? Now let's go ahead and do the buckle the belt on the hat so let's do the buckle first i'm going to bring down a curve line like that in the front corner then do a second line now let's do the pin for the buckle and then i'm going to do just one line for the belt itself done with the hat now let's go ahead and add a little shamrock on the hat i'm going to do a curve line then I bet you all know how you how to do heart shapes, right? Let's put together four heart shapes and make a shamrock. One on the bottom, one on the top, one on this side, and one on the other side. There you go. Done. Now, oopsie, I didn't realize I just smudged the drawing see that's the reason i usually start with on the left side so that as i go uh, further with my drawing i don't go back onto the one that i have just done but i didn't realize that and i smudged it that's okay okay now let's go ahead oopsie there are a couple of things that are missing guess what the whiskers let's give mr mouse some whiskers and also where is the tail bindu auntie let's go ahead and do it a curve line jumping over the hand remember mouses have really thin fine tails like that yay done with the mouse isn't it super cute let's go ahead and do the card that the mouse is pulling with the gold part in it oh, okay so i'm going to leave like two or three fingers gap and make a box rectangle shape first this is going to be my card okay now let me put the wheels on the car There 
you go okay now I'm going to make a loop in the front on which we are going to tie the rope that the mouse is pulling now let's do the rope There you go. Now, does it look like the mouse is pulling the cart? Beautiful, right? Let me zoom out just a little more. Okay, there you go. Okay, now let's go ahead and do the... I want to finish the details on the cart first so that it will be easy for me to do the uh, gold pot in, uh, inside it. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the base of the cart. Then the top frame. Then I'll add two more lines in the middle. Just to create some interest. Okay. So the total lines that I did inside are one, two, three, four lines. Okay. Now I'm going to do the pot. I'm going to do a big curve line. Jumping over. Touching the base. So that is the base. That's where the pot is sitting. And then one more curve line here. Ooh, the mouse must be pretty strong to pull such a heavy cart filled with, I mean, such a heavy cart with gold pot in it. Let's go ahead and do the rim of the pot, just a curve line like that. Okay, then let's add gold. Just some small and big curve lines. that now let's show that maybe the mouse has dropped a couple on the way while pulling because the pot is so filled up I want to add that okay nice now since it is a cute mouse I don't want to do the wheels like they usually are so let's add some interest to it I am going to make four tiny circles like this and then draw two lines from the bottom circle to the top circle and then two lines jumping over I want to show that the mouse has used buttons as wheels okay so let's add some more details inside some coins if not it's looking like clouds okay I mean cloud there you go done excited I'm super excited to see all your drawings okay now let's go ahead and color this one 